in this video we're going to use something I've never used before. My life felt complete but apparently it's not now because I now need a three phase rotation tester in my life. Now why are we doing this and what are we going to do in this video? I need this to check the phases are correctly wired on our Zappi three phase car charger for charging our Volkswagen ID Buzz which is a big complicated story so I needed to invest in one of these. And basically, when you have your incoming on your thing, it comes in here through the on off switch. And we've got, this one's neutral and this, no, sorry, this one's live one, live two, live three, and that one's neutral. And they go in, a, in an order, the way the sort of sine waves move. And it's supposed to go like L1, then L2, L3, L1, L2. And it's supposed to go in this order like one, two, three, one, two, three. And if you swap any of these round, and it goes three, two, one, three, two, one. And if you've got a motor running, the motor will go the other way. So you often need one of these if you're putting a motor to check that when you power it up, it goes the right way. Otherwise, you'll have to swap some of the things. So I'm going to go through this and show you how to use this RS components. Relatively cheap. It was cheap because it was on eBay. I don't think they're that expensive. I think they're like 40 or 50 pounds. So, right. So you can see that it's got L1, L2 and L3. And you get these colour coded things. And... If you're not very good with numbers, they give you A, B, and C, which I think is kind of cool. There you go, whichever works for you, A, B, C, one, two, three. And when you get it right, these three lights light up as soon as they see voltage. Um, and then you can press this button here and it will tell us whether it's going um, clockwise or anti-clockwise. Right, so let's try this. Now this is dangerous, don't do this at home. Right, because this is 415 volts. Right, so let me see how we're going to do this, Ben. So, right, we've got to get these in the right order. So get these sort of one, A, what are we going for? We're we going for one or we're we going for A, A, B, C. Look, here we go. Right, A, B, C. Right, now I've modified these clips a little. Right, so I'm going to dangerously now stick these in the three phases there in those screws. And the phase tester should, if I get them pressed on, look, you see you've got those three lights solid. you got that, Ben? Yeah. And then if I press the button, it's going to tell me, that is going. Now, if I put these on the wrong order or they were wired in the wrong order, so if I change my lead, I can swap any of these two round and it will be the other way. It's quite interesting because now you'll see it will go A, B, C. So it's sort of doing a circle the other way. Um, right, so let's just dangerously stick these three in here. Oh, goodness me. Right then, hold on. Oh, that last, there we go. Oh, let me get that middle one on. When that middle one going? He's on, he's on. Oh, all right, there you go. And you see that's now going the other way, see? So that is going anti clockwise. So we know when I've got these in the right order, one, two, three, A, B, C, as you wish, we know that this is right. Now on our Zappi charger, we put it on single phase charging and we made sure that it was single phase and we looked at the phases on the Zappi charger and we checked that it was pulling off, we know the Zappis take it off the phase one on the Zappi and We've got our L1 um, CT clamp here, and we could see that when we took L1 into the bars, it consumed L1 on this phase. So we know one is connected to one, but we can't test two and three. But by checking the phase rotation, we know that one is the starting, and as long as it goes clockwise, it's got to go one, two, three. So we are now going to go out to the Zappi charger. I'll make this safe, and then we're going to go out to the Zappi charger and check that it is indeed in the same phase and then we know one two three is the same as one two three out there again be careful you join us at the zappy right so actually if you look under here don't get too close but actually you've got earth then neutral then on the board underneath it says one two three so the brown is one so i've got my leads with one two three in this order and this should give me clockwise so again this is a bit dodgy but let me yeah ben you hold that all right all right, there you go. All right, you know we're near the leads. Good. All right, so I'm gonna go in, in with that one, in with that one, in. Get those three in there. All right, have you got three lights on? Yeah. All right, you got three lights on. Press the the button there. Yeah, and he is rotating the same way, so he is clockwise. So we now know that the Zappy charger is good. One is one, we did that by single phase charging, and we know the rotation. And the only way of going clockwise is starting at one to go two and three. So we know the Zappi is all good. So hope that helps you. Hope that helps you using a, these are not ideal leads, don't do it like that. 
But there we go, I hope that helps you understand what a phase charger. And the interesting thing is, if you go one, two, three, if you swap the one and the two round, you will change the direction. If you swap the two and the three round, so it will always be going clockwise or anti-clockwise with one, two, and three. You have to sort of think about it. Um, but it's not like you can have a not complete phase or an out of, like you can't, because it'll always just be one, two, three, or three, two, one, if you look at it. Right, good luck with that.